uh, one of the things we do here, everybody on night school, is we have something called office hours. Office hours uh, is an opportunity for me to have a live Q&A with people in the community, sometimes people who are in, the, are in the comment section, sometimes people who are out in the world. And I came across this brother, Brandon, who identifies as a Pan-Africanist, correct? Yes. Uh, this brother, Brandon, who, come, who, who identifies as a Pan-Africanist. Uh, and so I saw a comment of yours on Twitter that I found interesting. And so I wanted to build with you about it. And I say, I always like to have the conversations, uh, with folk, uh, in person so that we can actually build. So yesterday I, I, uh, notified Twitter. I posted on Twitter, uh, an announcement about the YouTube channel, about this channel that we're on right now. And specifically, I want to bring people into night school, which is my daily uh, program. And so I, I put this post up. That said, join the Mark on my official YouTube channel, support independent media. And you responded by saying, sorry, Mark Lamont Hill, the Democrats already have a house Negro. His name is Roland Martin. Can I call you struggle Roland? And I was like, wow, um, that's a lot there. Um, and that's why I reached out. I said, you know, I always like to create space uh, to have conversations with, with, with black people. Uh, I always like to have conversations with people who have a critique. Um, so I guess m my first question for you uh, was, when you say the Democrats already have a house, Negro, w w what about me m suggests that I'm a, a, a house Negro for Democrats? I'm just curious. Um, I mean, Mark, if I could call you Mark. Um, I mean, I'm, let's not pretend like for years you weren't a part of the Democrat machine pushing all these different uh, Democrat uh, rad random, ra in my opinion, radical ideologies uh, that they used for so many, that they pandered to so, for so many years to uh, try to gain, gain power, right? Uh, you fell out with the Democrats in 2018 when you stood up for Palestine, which I would say is a just cause, you know, I, I'm OK with you there. And basically, the Democratic military industrial complex turned on you because you didn't play along with the narrative that they tried to force down our throats about Israel. So. I just I just look at you as a person who you were burned by the Democrats. Now you have an issue with. Why are people voting for Joe Biden? Why are people voting for uh, Democrats or whoever? We just but said before then I was supporting the Democrats. You were right the there. Democrats. You were right okay, there. Lots of stuff. So, 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 so let me bring up a couple of things. Um, here's a piece that I wrote um, in 2008 called Not My Brand of Hope. Did you vote for Obama? Were you, I don't know if you're old enough to vote. Did you vote yeah, for Obama? Yeah, I voted for Obama the first term. So you voted for the Democrat. In 2008, I was the most visible and prominent black person at this time to say why I wasn't going to in, in, endorse President Obama. In fact, here's a piece I wrote in The Root during the first year that The Root was around called Not My Brand of Hope. And I break down all the reasons why I didn't vote for Obama and why I wasn't going to vote for Obama, right? Right. Now I'm going to show you something else. Now here's, a, now here's a piece where I it says, I didn't write this piece, they wrote the piece, Mark Lamont Hill to vote Democrat for first time in 24 years. So you're saying up until three or four years ago, um, oh, I'm sorry, until 2018, I supported Democrats. But according to this article, I've only voted for one Democrat in a quarter of a century. Uh, according to the chronology, even of this piece, I didn't vote for it. You, you do know that I'm a lifelong um, 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 Green Party member. Did you know that? I didn't know you were a lifelong uh, Green Party member. I really make no... no uh, I make no separation between the Green Party and the Democrat Party. It's really the same thing. It's just Democrats by another name. Me, I'm a very straight shooter. When, uh, how you, so? Well, well, you, let's just, but let's let's just let's just be clear though. You were saying that I was a shill for the Democratic Party, and I'm showing you. Here's another piece of me in, in not voting for Hillary Clinton in 2018. I, would Would you at least to move forward? Would you at least be able to concede that you were wrong that I keep supporting? No, you? I'm not. I'm not going to concede that I was wrong because well, he no, let, me, let me ask a question before you say no. Okay. You said that I consistently endorse Democratic can Democratic Party candidates, and I've never endorsed a Democratic Party candidate. You've consistently endorsed radical liberal policies. Anybody can go listen to Green Party presidential uh, candidate Ralph Nader. He has a podcast. 
the guy is a Democrat, just a different label. He's a radical liberal, Trump deranged, just like every liberal that not, you listen to. Ralph Nader's not a member of the Green Party, though, brother. What what party is he in? Uh, I, I don't know, but he's not a member of the Green Party. Okay. He's been a member of the Green Party in 20 years. That, But when he was running for president, who did he run under? In 2000, 24 years ago? Who did he run under? Yeah, 24 years ago he was a Green Party. Okay, what you got to understand is when I voted okay. for Obama, I was 20. Three or 20, 23 years old. It was actually my first time voting. But once I saw when I was able to see the writing on the wall, I didn't vote for Obama the next term. I voted a uh, Republican. And, and okay, since so, then, I've been voting Republican. You had a time during. Okay, so, so just so I'm clear, just so I'm clear. Even so, when you say so, you're saying that even though you say I in, I endorse these Democratic Party candidates, right? Not people who are like Democrats. Or I didn't say you endorse Democratic Party candidates. What I said is you, you specifically did. Liberal. You specifically did. And I can rewind and show you when you said okay. that. Okay. But 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 you now acknowledge that I don't, right? You acknowledge that, right? You were not a member. You never voted Democrat. You were a member of the Green Party. Yes. And I and and you can acknowledge that I said. That okay, I make no on. separation between the Green Party and the Democrat Party because when you actually did do the digging into the Green what Party, would be a legitimate. So, do you, does the Democratic Party? You, you said the Democratic Party supports the military-industrial complex, right? Of course they do. How does the? In what way does the Green Party support the military-industrial? Do complex? you hear? In what way does the Green Party support the military-industrial complex? Give me, give me, give me, a, give me an example. Yeah. Show me, show me. No, no, I want you to give me an example. Okay. I I will be honest with you. I don't look at the Green Party's policies concerning Ukraine and all that stuff. I mostly focus on like Democrat, Republican parties that actually have a chance to win and, and hold the seat of power. So the Green Party is a very, to me, the Green Party is like someone saying, I vote ind independent. So, it's so where, let me ask you a different question. Then. Do you feel like you know enough about the Green Party to critique their policies? Yes, yes, I okay. do, because I've listened. Okay, so so, then, so okay. if you do, then my question would be, so it, give me an example of, a, since since you say, because you the reason I'm saying this is because you say I fell out with the Democratic Party over the military industrial complex. But then when I say well, I'm a Green Party member, you say they're the same. And I say, well, the Green, the Green Party doesn't support the military industrial complex. And you say, well, I don't know enough to have that conversation. So let's talk about a different what, issue. What? Uh, the, the Democratic okay. Party, the Democratic Party supports. Does the Democratic uh, Party support reparations? Yeah, the thing, the thing here, Mark, we're we're not really here to argue about the Green Party. What we're here to art, what we're here to discuss. Well, is, no, you, you, I, I'm not talking about the Green Party. You made a point and say I'm a plant, I'm a House Negro for the Democrats. Yeah, and, yeah. And I'm not a Democrat. <laughs> and and, and, and De we're, you we're, listen. Let's take Democrat out. Liberal, so, so, so radical, radical you liberal you're saying disregard policy. What you say. Okay, so, so radical liberal policy. Okay, we, so as black people, listen, problem. as black people, right? I'm a pan African, so I focus a lot on black people, but white people are great too. They're Americans. I'm an American. I love America. Lamont, I mean Mark, we are at a crucial stage in the in the trajectory or or downfall of our of our country. That's not the time to get lost in the weeds arguing about the ins and outs specifics of the Green Party. Here's the fact. No, Nobody from the you, 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 here's you the that. fact. Here's the fact. No one from the Green Party is ever going to be president. Let's let's be men and let's talk like men about things that matter. Here's another fact. Palestine well, ain't got I, nothing I to do. Get, Palestine get, has but nothing get, to do. Let me pause you for a minute. I'll let you finish. But you're misrepresenting the conversation. The reason why I'm calling you I a house. I didn't. I didn't. I, didn't bring, I only brought the Green Party up as a direct challenge to the unfactual statement you made that I am a, that I have endorsed and been a member of the Democratic Party. In fact, you specifically said that I fell out with the Democratic Party in 2018, which is untrue. So I only brought the Green Party up okay. as, as a contradiction of that. But we can move on to the point that you're making. So you, you say that as a pan, what, what part of the Republican Party supports a pan-African vision? No, no part of the Republican Party has to support a pan-African. That's the whole point. The party doesn't even matter. The policies are what's important. See when you say what part what, what of policy? Let, let me let me get a let me make a point. When you say what part of what part of the Republican Party supports Pan African, you are from that school of thought where you believe that the only way you can relate to or communicate politics to African American people is through fear mongering. You, Roland Martin, you guys are all in the what same. Did I say to suggest you that? guys are all in the same country. Hold on. What did I say? To Let's suggest? talk about policy. No, no, no. Hold on. What did I say to suggest fear mongering? 
We're all we're all Americans. Hold, hold, I'm going to pause you again. What did I say that implied fear mongering? You said what part of the Republican Party supports Pan African as if Pan Africanism? You, hold on, hold on. you said you're a Pan Africanist and you vote Republican. I'm asking. What's, what's wrong? No, I I'm vote. Not, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, I'm not saying anything is wrong with it. I was asking you to explain why you made the choice. I'm just asking you to explain the policy. Yes. I am a conservative. I have conservative values, just like every single black person in America. I was raised on conservative values, but also I have a brain which I can use so that I don't make decisions emotionally. Like, like I make decisions based on what's best for me and my people. Like you, you're all championed out for Palestine. That's not a, that's an emotional thing. Palestine has nothing to do with the black experience in America. You're a black well, man. About that. Can you you're a black about man. That? Let me finish my point. Okay. You're a black man who had a, a very prominent and powerful platform. You sacrifice that to talk about Palestine when no Palestinian anywhere will sacrifice anything for you. So when you lose your, your platform, who loses a, 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 a piece on the chessboard? Not Palestine, African-American people. Okay, so you're saying you're primarily focused on, exclusively focused on the issues of black people in America. I'm not, I'm, ex first, I'm focused on issues of African-Americans because I am African-American and we're in a bad place politically. Second, I am focused on the issue, the issues uh, concerning all Americans overall because I am an American. Right. Whether that you, be white right, Americans, but, 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 Asian-Americans or whatever. So what you're for me, it, define Pan-Africanism for me. Pan-Africanism is the belief that all, all black people around the globe should come together politically um um politically spiritually many many might argue and economically okay Just if you if you're black no matter where you are on the globe you should be of the mind that uh, of a in a mindset that that favors the collective progress of black people fair enough globe. fair enough so I only have two minutes left, but I want to just get this. Okay. So, so you're criticizing me for not being focused enough on blacks in America, but your identity as a Pan-Africanist means you're concerned with people in countries all around the world. Right. You don't well, see the there's black people in America. There's black people in America. So I no, no, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. You, let, you asked me to let you finish. I'll let you, you finish. You said you had two minutes and you taking up the two minutes. I'm going to give you the two minutes, but I am going to talk on my own show. How did, okay. So you, you'll still have your two minutes. But I, I mean, I have my own show, but go ahead. I didn't say you don't have a show. This just isn't it. What I'm saying is we have two minutes. I'm going to talk, and then I'll give you a chance to respond, and you'll have the, uh, the, the same amount of time you would have had if you don't interrupt. So you're saying I should only be concerned with Black people in America. That is your... You, however, are concerned with, with people outside of America if you identify as a Pan-Africanist. That is inherently a contradiction. The next thing, I'll let you finish this. Let me respond. Let me let me make the point before you respond. The, the, the fundamental premise that you had here, though, is that I, 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 I prioritize Palestine and don't deal with Black people in America. I've written eight books. Seven of them are about Black people in America. I run a, a community education program for Black people in America. I do organizing and activism for Black people in America. I fight to release political prisoners, all of whom are black here in America. I open a bookstore for black people here in America. I've taught at HBCUs here in America for black people. All the media platforms, BET, The Grio, The Root, all media platforms, black America. So, so my, I have two questions for you, right? And, and then you can go at it however you want. And okay. for, full, for the full two minutes, you ain't lost a thing. Um, first question is, what am I not doing for Black America that is sufficient? And the second question is, if you care about Black people all around the globe, then why not deal with the Black people or the African people who are in Palestine? Those are my two questions. Okay. So what I'm going to, I'm just going to make, make this straight to the point. African American people, our people who live in America, our political ignorance actually impacts the rest of the world it's no secret that black people voting for joe biden at a clip of 87 percent was the number one 
reason why he actually was able to take the White House. But Joe Biden's presidency directly led to war, whether it's the encouraging of Ukraine to join NATO that him and Kamala Harris uh, engaged in when they when they made an agreement with Russia not to do so, or if it's the rubber stamp, whether it, or or the rubber stamp that Biden has given to Israel to commit genocide in Palestine. What I'm telling you, Mark, is your priorities are messed up. If you were a black man focused on black people in America, not just sitting up trying to talk about LGBTQ and all this stuff that what, these what are is not it, talking about. You still haven't answered the question. I you, though. You like, did interrupt talk. me. Actually, you I'm did interrupt me interrupt four times. Was... Remember, we the, remember, we had the whole exchange about not interrupting. But you, I'm asking you to answer the question, though. You, you, cause you have, I've asked you three questions. You haven't answered one of them. Mark, I'm making a point here because we're lost in the weeds. What I'm telling you is you're so concerned about non-issues that the people, your people, who really need direction, black political ignorance is not only killing America, it's killing the rest of the globe. Everything you are fighting for is directly impacted by the vote of African Americans. If Biden didn't get an overwhelming amount of the African American vote, we wouldn't even be having war in Ukraine, which I believe led directly to the situation in Israel, because we would have had Donald Trump in office, a president that is proven to be anti-war, even if it is only for economic reasons. That's just not true. Okay. Donald Trump specifically said that if he had been president, he also would have told Netanyahu to do what he's doing in Gaza. So how will we not be in the same situation? The, the, the United States cut UNRWA under Biden. Trump cut it before Biden did. So there's not a single policy that you could name that Trump has demonstrated that would be different in Israel. But you still didn't answer my question. Okay, what right. is the policy that affects black people that I'm not dealing with? Just tell me the policy. The policy that affects black people, not even it's not even the policy, it's the lack of policy. You not talk, you're not talking about where black what black you're not explaining to black people with your great political mind. Hey, listen, this is what as a group, if you want the prize behind door number one, this is what you need to do. We don't engage. You don't engage with our people on that level. Which oh, you, you mean like political education, political leadership type stuff? Politically educate your people. Gotcha. A lot Can of people. Question listen about to you, that. You have a big you this, you're teaching me here now. Have you, I, I wrote two books on this topic, given political education, like, but did you read either of them? Mark, I haven't read any of your books. So, is it possible that everything you're saying I don't do is in those books? Uh, do you talk about it on your platform? Yes. Every single okay. night we do this. In fact, right before you came on, I was talking about reparations. When I was, you talked about reparations. That's another, that's a whole nother conversation. Reparations is not the most important thing for African Americans right now. Reparations is something that's so far, it's way no, no, long just, term I'm, I'm, and I'm, it'll I'm, probably I'm, never I'm, happen. My point, my point is, how many times have you watched my, my platform? I've watched you a couple of times and you do the same thing. Okay, you talk so, about so things that are non issues. So, so I'm just going to say, after 20 years of doing this, if you've never read any of the books, any of the articles, okay. and, you and you've only watched the videos maybe once or twice by your definition, okay. if you didn't even know that I was a Green Party member and you thought I was a Democrat, then maybe you don't know enough about me to have a, 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 a an informed critique. That's all I would, that's all I okay. would say. But let me but, ask you a question. But, but, but now answer my other question, though, the, the okay. Palestine question. Did you know that there were Africans in Palestine? I know there's African people in Palestine. So then if you care about Africans everywhere in the globe, why, you, why don't you care about the ones in Palestine? What, I'm, what I am doing is I'm addressing the root of the issue. One of the reasons why African people have to be in Palestine is because the continent of Africa is continuously robbed and stripped of its resources and is purposely underdeveloped, which causes an economic uh, vacuum where Africans have to leave that that's, continent that's, that's, just that's, how that's, that's not Africans got into Palestine. Okay. That's how no, that's not in. how they got there, but that's why Africans have to stay there. They could leave and go back to their continent. That, that's not was, either. Okay. That, that's, that's just factually untrue. I think you're confusing Africans in Palestine with Africans in Israel. Because I think you're right. The asylum, if you're talking about the asylum seekers in Israel, that might be true. There, I'm talking about the Africans in Palestine. I mean, let's keep it a buck. It's all Israel. That's the political, like... No, that's not true. That's, okay. illegal. that's, not, okay. that's not true. Okay. Let me ask you one more question. Well, you know, that's fine. So, uh, brother, thank you for coming on. I really appreciate the conversation. I appreciate, I appreciate <laughs> okay. the clarity. Um, okay, no problem. Um, yeah, thank you. You're welcome to come back anytime. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, y'all, let's move on to the next thing. Uh, let's see here. There's a couple other things I want to talk about. Look, we try new stuff. We may do it again. We might not. But, you know, we got we to gotta see what happens, man. But 
uh, what I have found um, is that people are uh, quick to offer critiques and people are quick to talk, you talk shit really, right? But when you press them on like details or facts or information, they don't have any, right? So it's easy to call somebody a, a house Negro for the Democrats. But then when you when you say, well, you know, I'm not a Democrat. Well, that's not the point. Green Party is the same thing. Are they? I don't even think, I don't think anybody would say that. But even if they are the same thing, how? Well, I don't really know their platform. Well, then maybe you shouldn't say this. 